Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about iPhone and iPads and more specifically, I'm going to show you how to remove the spotlight search function from your iOS device. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off, if you're not familiar with the search function or the spotlight suggestion function on your iPhone, basically all it is when you swipe down on your screen, your iPhone is going to pull up any recent apps or frequently used apps or frequently used portions of your phone. And that way you can easily touch it and go right to that function. But what if you wanted to go ahead and remove that? Let me go ahead and swipe down on my phone and show you what that does. Okay, so I went ahead and swiped down and then this pops up. So you got the search function here so you can easily search through your phone. But you also get the Siri suggestions or spotlight suggested functions right here. So as you can see, I use these apps really often. My email, my settings, Safari, and then also messages. But what if you don't want these apps to show up when you search through your spotlight? That's what I'm going to show you. But why would you want to remove that? Well, that's pretty easy. If you live in a city like I do and you happen to be searching through your phone while you're in line at the bank, Bank or maybe it's McDonald's or something like that. There's always people around you and if you swipe down, they may see private information connected to your phone. For example, right here is the name to somebody I text message pretty often. And if someone happens to be standing next to me, I don't want them to see the different apps or the different functions of my phone that I use. So I prefer to have this taken off. But how do you do that? That's what we're gonna go over. First off, what you wanna do is go to your settings app on your iPhone. It's this gray gear icon here on your app listings. This is nothing you need to download. This is an app that's already pre-installed on your iOS device. I'm gonna go ahead and open my settings now. Okay, so I went ahead and opened up my settings on my iPhone and and what you want to do next is go ahead and scroll down all the way until you get to this section here called Siri and Search. I'm going to click there now. All right, so once you're here, then you're going to see a lot of different options that have to do with Siri and search. But what you want to look for is this section here called Siri Suggestions. Let me scroll down a little bit more. All right, once you're here, then you see all three of these little toggles. So you can go ahead and turn off suggestions on your lock screen. You can also turn off suggestions in lookup. And then you can also turn off suggestions in search. So if you want to go ahead and remove those functions from your spotlight search, you want to go ahead and toggle this one to white. I'm going to change that now. Okay, so I went ahead and toggled it. Now my suggestions in the search box through spotlight will now be removed. So let me go ahead and flip back over to my iPhone screen, the home screen, and then show you what that looks like. Okay, so I went ahead and switched back here to my home screen, and then we're gonna go ahead and swipe down, and that way you can see the search box. And then as you can see, the search box pops up, so you can still type in something like email or text, and it should pop up. However, it's not gonna automatically populate with the apps, your frequently used apps, or the different functions of your phone. As you can see, it's blank. So that way, if someone's standing next to me, they're not gonna be able to peek in and see all of my private information on my iPhone. So there you have it. That is how you remove the search function on Spotlight. And this will work for an iPhone or even your iPad. If you happen to know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know. And hopefully you found that video useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks for watching.